When it comes to selling printables on Etsy, you should have both evergreen and seasonal products up in your shop. Evergreen products are products that people buy all throughout the year. They're popular all year round, whereas seasonal products are only popular during certain times of year, usually based around a holiday or an event happening at that time. You should aim to get your seasonal products up in your shop two to three months before the event actually happens so the Etsy algorithm has time to rank your products in the search results. You also want to be ready and prepared for those early holiday shoppers who shop well in advance of a holiday. I know a lot of Etsy beginners struggle with finding undersaturated printable ideas, so today I'm sharing with you a list of seasonal product ideas for quarter two, so those are the months of April, May, and June. Before we get started, let's make a deal. If I show you a new product idea or a new niche idea, you have to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's hop over. I'm going to go through these quickly, guys, because as you can see, I have a lot of tabs open, meaning we have a lot to get through, and I don't want this video to be too long. First up are these cute bunny bait cards for Easter. Easter is really big in April, so I have a couple of Easter ideas for you coming up. You can make these as gift tags or you can do like the bag toppers like you see here. Oh, this is also really cute. These lollipop garden seeds, they're really just jelly beans. So yeah, when you're looking for new product ideas, just keep your eye open. And I usually just favorite when I see an idea that I might want to create in my own shop. Next up, we have Easter egg hunt flyers, or you can do Easter egg hunt invitations, both the printable versions and the text versions. Next up are Easter fingerprint crafts. These are popular for little kids. They might do them in preschool or even Sunday school. Similarly to the fingerprint crafts, you can also do footprint crafts. And I like these because honestly, you're just like designing the background and they just have to paint the little feet and put them on there. So these are pretty easy to make. And as you can see, a lot of them are already popular. It's February right now. So that's what I was saying. People are already shopping for things months ahead. Next, we have Easter digital paper. I have no idea how to make digital paper, to be honest, but if you know how to do it, you can definitely tap into the Easter niche. Next, we have Easter gift tags. You can make them for teachers. I definitely would avoid using peeps or any copyrighted material in your designs. Avoid that. You don't want any intellectual property complaints. In April, you can also have your Lent printables up and ready. So I just typed in Lent printables in the Etsy search bar to see what would come up. You could do Lent calendars, Lent games, Lent planners. So a bunch of different ideas. And this niche is really undersaturated. These are really cool Lent activity cards. The next April niche you can tap into is Earth Day. There are so many different printables you can make for Earth Day. And it's really not too competitive. As you can see, you can do activities, worksheets, handprint crafts, coloring pages. So a lot of stuff you can do here. Honestly, Earth Day is not super huge, so I wouldn't spend a bunch of time making products for Earth Day, but getting up a couple of products can never hurt because it might sell, and then you know for next year to make even more products. My next idea for April is spring bulletin board kits for teachers who want to make their classrooms all pretty. This is a cool niche because you can list your products here on Etsy and then also go list them on Teachers Pay Teachers to try to make even more money. And my last April printable idea is spring cleaning checklists. These are pretty popular and I actually have a spring cleaning checklist included in my PLR cleaning checklist bundle. So I will link that for you below if you just want to buy some checklists that you can start selling right away. Moving right along to the month of May, you know the big thing in May is Mother's Day, so I have a couple of ideas for you. First up are printable Mother's Day greeting cards. With greeting cards, I want you to target those long tail keywords because they are going to be less competitive. For instance, this funny Mother's Day card from your firstborn, that's great, that's really specific. You can do secondborn, Third born Mother's Day cards for twin moms, stepmom Mother's Day cards, aunt Mother's Day cards. Really try to get more specific with the kind of card you're making. You can make these Mother's Day gift certificate templates. And similar to these are these Mother's Day coupon books. 
You can do it from a kid or from a husband, or you could do it even for a grandma. Next is this all about mom activity. So these are good for schools, preschool, or even I guess kids could fill them out for their mom at home and mom can have it as a little keepsake. Hey guys, if you're ready to start making passive income on Etsy this year, be sure to check out my course, Extra Income with Printables. I show you all the strategies that took my Etsy shop from $0 to over $100,000 in sales over these last two years. And I also give you templates to help you get your shop up and running even faster. If you're interested, I have it linked down for you below. Now let's get back to the video. And now moving away from the Mother's Day niche, Nurse Appreciation Week is in May. So there are a couple of products that you can make to celebrate nurses. You can make these Nurse Appreciation Week itineraries. You can do Nurse Appreciation gift cards. You can do it for school nurses too. Don't forget school nurses. And then you can do like Nurse Appreciation gift tags. Another event in May that you can design for is Cinco de Mayo. So you can do Cinco de Mayo invitations. And I'm thinking you could also do like taco bar signs or margarita bar signs. Just think about printables that someone might need if they were throwing a Cinco de Mayo party. This is another product that I just discovered doing the research for this video. They are pick a date fundraiser calendars. Basically, you would pick a date, let's say the 12th, and so you would donate $12. For May, I'd be designing for things like summer camps and probably prom. Speaking of proms, another idea are promposal signs. Promposals are becoming more and more popular and they are so cute. I think I'm going to try to make some of these myself. Remember, don't use any branded stuff in your listing photos, in your SEO, or in your actual product design itself. Another idea are these yearbook ad templates, and some of them are already popular, so I would get these up in my shop ASAP if you're interested in experimenting with these. Our next idea are senior photo shoot flyers, so photographers can advertise their services and their pricing. You can even make Instagram templates for them. And lastly, for June printable ideas, we have Father's Day. So basically, you can take all the Mother's Day printables and just apply them to Father's Day. So Father's Day cards, the All About Dad, Father's Day handprints, footprints, keepsakes. Another idea are road trip activity packs for the kids on those long summer car drives. Moving along to the graduation niche, if you are a party shop, you definitely should be hitting graduation parties. You can do invitations, you can do graduation party signs, you can do graduation advice cards, you can do, oh, these graduation signature signs. So basically, you put the graduate in the middle and people can sign around it, kind of like a keepsake for the graduate. I'm in New York and school ends in June here, so you can do these end of year gift tags for teachers. And don't forget, you can also do them for bus drivers, counselors, lunch ladies. Another principle you can make geared towards the end of the school year are these last day of school signs. So I think these are especially popular for like last day of kindergarten, last day of first grade for the younger kids. Summer starting, so you can make a summer bucket list sign. You can also make like summer activity cards. Those would be cute. For June, you can also do Juneteenth products. So think printable party games. You could do educational worksheets or even PNGs or SVGs that people can put on t-shirts. Next, we have summer screen time checklist. Kids are gonna be off and a lot of parents don't want their kids on their phones and tablets all day, every day. So they have like chores they have to do before they get their devices. Next, we have pool party birthday invitations. You can also make invitations for more summery party ideas like barbecues or camping. And my last idea for June are these printable lemonade stand kits and checklists. Go help those young entrepreneurs make some money. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. You are really helping my watch time, so I absolutely love you. I hope you got some new product ideas. And if you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Bye.